Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Once again, we see the enemies of Allah. They're targeting the Muslims in Fallujah in Iraq. That place in the world, Subhanallah. We refuse to remember back to history when those Crusaders from the Americans, when they used to target the Muslims there, using the depleted uranium, Subhanallah, on the Muslims. And recently we see their brothers in Kufr, we see the Shia, Rafida, the Iraqi government targeting the Sunni Muslims in Fallujah. Indeed, my dear Muslims, anyone who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has opened up their eyes will see that there is a war taking place against Islam. It is not about Sunni and Shia, my dear Muslims. It is not about some money and some oil. Rather, this is a struggle between truth and falsehood. And the Iraqi government, subhanAllah, they are massing great numbers to fight against the Muslims in Fallujah. As they are all around Iraq. And that is because they see the Muslims have risen up. They have risen up for La ilaha illallah. The Muslims, they have taken authority on the earth to rule by the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For no more oppression to be on the earth. The oppression of the man-made laws. The oppression of the kuffar. Where they be their crusaders, the cross worshippers. Where they be the Shia Rafida. Where, where they be the Nusaydis, the Alawis. My dear Muslims, they don't mind if you recite the Quran. But the moment you try implement it and rule by it, that's when they will turn their missiles on you. They will turn their drones on you. Because the awliya of shaitan, they want people to live, live in the obedience to the creation. The awliya of shaitan wants, wants people to worship shaitan, to follow the waswasa of shaitan, the whisperings of shaitan, rather than following what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent down. My dear Muslim, the Prophet informed us that the Muslims are like one body. If part of it feels pain, the rest of the body feels sleeplessness and fever. And that is how our mentality should be. We should not look at Muslim suffering in another part of the world as not our problem. The one who thinks that, he has not understood Islam. He has not understood the Islamic Brotherhood. He has not understood Iman. Indeed, it should hurt us all. Anyone who claims really to be Muslim, when we see the bombing in Fallujah. And obviously these kuffar, subhanAllah, they do not care whether man, woman or child. They do not care what type of weapons they use, what kind of harm they cause. But no doubt Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with the believers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with the Muslims who are ruling by the book of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with the Muslims who is waging the jihad against the mushrikeen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with the Muslims who want to bring back the honor of Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with the Muslims who want to free the Asir. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with those who strive in his path. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with those who are sincere. And no doubt, my dear Muslims, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with you. No one can defeat you. No one can defeat you, my dear. No matter how many numbers there are against you. If you're sincere and you strive in the path of Allah and you do what Allah commanded you, indeed Allah will give you victory in this life and in the hereafter. So to all the Muslims, wherever they are in the earth, remember your obligation to support your Muslim brothers and sisters in whatever way you can. Remember the obligations, my dear Muslim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Islam to be established on the earth from the east of the east to the west of the west. And insha'Allah, we'll see one day the whole earth dominated by Islam. And we'll see the tyrants and the oppressors, they'll be brought to account. And the justice of Islam being implemented on them.